O'Reilly says Obama's deep state ties to Islam have hurt America. Do you agree? After eight years of Obama, the field of journalism has become a joke. Thankfully, there are still some honest journalists out there. Bill O'Reilly came out swinging against Obama and his connections. O'Reilly explained that Obama's emotional attachment to the Muslim world has hurt the United States and that the Obama administration's greatest failure is allowing the Islamic terror group ISIS to run wild, murdering thousands of innocent people all over the world, including many Muslims. Thank you, Mr. O'Reilly. We can always count on you for the truth. The Obama era made it too easy for radical Islam to spread. Obama needs to admit that he failed our country. Radical Islam is not compatible with our values. We do not want Sharia law in our country. We need to take a stand against the spread of radical Islam. Thank goodness Donald Trump is not afraid to say the words radical Islam. We finally have a president that isn't going to kneel before the politically correct altar. What a refreshing change. Unfortunately, the liberals are conspiring against him. The left won't rest until they have ruined our great nation. The establishment is helping the left too. The swamp is working overtime to eject Trump from the presidency. Every day we hear stories about impeachment nonsense. The mainstream media loves to spin Trump's actions into failure. Luckily, Mr. O'Reilly is still around to give a no-spin zone. The liberals love to silence conservative voices. Thankfully, they cannot silence Mr. O'Reilly. He will say what needs to be said. Bill O'Reilly is not going anywhere. He will not allow the liberals to take him down. We need more honest journalists like Mr. O'Reilly. President Chair segment tonight, President Obama and Islam. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points Memo. Many Americans, including this one, believe Barack Obama's emotional attachment to the Muslim world has hurt the USA. There's no question, the Obama administration's greatest failure is allowing the Islamic terror group ISIS to run wild, murdering thousands of innocent people all over the world, including many Muslims. Mr. Obama has never, never acknowledged that mistake, nor does he define the ISIS threat accurately. That group is killing innocent people in order to impose a radical version of Islam on the world. The jihad is solely based on theology perverted as it may be. President Obama, as we all know, will not even use the words Islamic terrorism. Again today, when telling the nation that America will maintain 8,000 troops in Afghanistan, the President did not accurately describe the situation there, putting forth that it was more about politics than Islamic terror. That is why the United States will continue to strongly support an Afghan-led reconciliation process and why we call on all countries in the region to end safe havens for militants and terrorists. But they are not just militants and terrorists. They are Islamic-driven killers who protected Al-Qaeda before the 9-11 attack. Yet the President of the United States does not define the terror issue clearly. Here's why. Barack Obama's father, who abandoned his family, was a Muslim who eventually turned atheist. Then his mother married another Muslim, moving young Barry to Indonesia, where he was exposed to the Islamic world, even though he did attend a Catholic school in first grade. According to his half-sister, Barack Obama attended his half-brother's wedding in the early 1990s. Malik Obama was a Muslim. The factor has obtained pictures, allegedly from that wedding, which we believe was held in Maryland. Details on the ceremony, the exact location, whether the reports that Barack Obama was the best man, are very difficult to verify at this point. What we can tell you with certainty is that Barack Obama has deep emotional ties to Islam. As a boy, I spent several years in Indonesia. 
and heard the call of the Azan at the break of dawn and at the fall of dusk. As a young man, I worked in Chicago communities where many found dignity and peace in their Muslim faith. Now, to some extent, I can identify with President Obama on the religion issue. As a Roman Catholic, I was appalled when the priest pedophilia scandal broke. There's absolutely no excuse for the Catholic Church covering up many horrendous crimes. However, like Barack Obama, I do make the distinction between the faith and the people who abuse it. The church is not the men who run it. The church is the abiding theology behind the doctrine of Jesus. And the country is the abiding uh, philosophy behind the Constitution. And I think if everybody understood that, you could put it in perspective. But here's where I depart from the president. I went after the American leaders of the Catholic Church with a vengeance. As we now know, the leaders of the Catholic Church in America covered up the sexual abuse. At least some of them did. It's my opinion that Cardinal Law in Boston could be arrested and charged with criminal negligence in the matter. Remember, law admits transferring pedophile priests to places where they had continuing contact with children. Americans have a right to demand, and I mean demand, that their authorities take care of Cardinal Law, not the Pope. That American authorities take care of a man who aided and abetted the molestation of American children. We have the right, every American citizen, to demand that this Cardinal Law is removed. It's way beyond just Catholics. Law was eventually booted out of Boston, but then given a cushy job in Rome, another embarrassment for the Catholic Church. Barack Obama should do what I did. Aggressively call out those who abuse the Muslim faith, who commit atrocities under a religious banner. He should make defeating the jihad a central issue and stop trying to diminish Islamic terrorism by avoiding the simple truth. Radical Islam is a direct threat to the entire world. Whether they live in Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Syria, or Africa, it is Islamic killers who are the central problem on the planet. President Obama should acknowledge that today and begin to correct his mistakes. And that's a memo. And if you wait for Obama to do that, don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.